Hi, I'm Neil Fu. Uh, very beautiful Monday morning on 25th of May 2020. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, satay. You know, as you know, satay is a kind of um, barbecue uh, meats in uh, Malaysia. We call it satay, and um, yes, uh, is a great, uh, great food. You know, is our national foods that are good for everybody, for especially in Malaysia for Chinese, Malay. Indian and also other ethnic like even from Sabah and um, the Sarawak and since we were young that uh, you know we like it very much because um, you know anything with barbecue you know smell nice and also we go with uh, the rice cake whether it's called rice cake we call ketupat right the ketupat and also we go with the uh, cu cucumber and a bit of uh, onions together with the peanut sauce we call uh, what do you call, we call kua, all right, kua kacang, all right, and um, yeah, there is a great stuff, you know, since we were young, and um, uh, we always like to, to, to have it from, uh, not, not every day, because it's, uh, to us, it's called uh, shiti, because of the, you know, the direct uh, fire, the charcoal, uh, then we create kind of uh, oily, and also, uh, what do you call this, uh, some burn, uh, burn meat, all right. So let us talk about a little bit of the history here that, uh, you know, I come, I came from a small town, you know, in, in Malaysia, in, in Malacca, Jasin, you know, and, and I remember that, uh, you know, my, my dad's, uh, my family was running a restaurant just right in front of our shop, you know, on the, on the left hand side of the corner of our shop, it's basically at the corridor, we call Kakilima that uh, there was um, uh, a satay, uh, a satay uh, store, you know, it's a little box, you know, he has two boxes there. I don't know how you call it in Malay, you know, let, let me recall. But anyway, it's two boxes. It's just a table, come the cabinets, they have all their, their food preparation, uh, you know, on these uh, two small uh, wooden cabinets, also called the serving table for the customer. And inside, I know they have uh, all the foods, they have all their, their stuff, their charcoal, everything, their equipments, they just store inside. So they unload it and then they just uh, do, the, 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 do the, the barbecue straight away, you know, in the open air and then you can smell the smoke, you know, flying all over the, the whole, whole small township here. And, you know, it's so attractive and then people are just uh, half, I mean, basically we are sitting on the, 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 the stool just right in front of this uh, cabinet table, cabinet desk, I would say, and uh, you know, you just take the satay and eat uh, with the, uh, as I said, with uh, the ketupat, you know, means the rice cake, right? And uh, you know, uh, go with the cucumber and dip into the kacang kwa, right? Fantastic, right? So sometimes we we'll count that today I'm going to have five sticks or we even have 10 sticks, even we are competing, yeah, I might be having a 15 sticks or 26, great, all right. And uh, I remember that um, that uh, a Malay chap called Jalil, um, always my mom say, oh, this is bubble, bubble, you know, but it's just, just kidding, you know, he's a nice chap. And uh, basically he was just doing his satay business in front, just, uh, you know, just go give a nominal rental to my to my dad you know just to enhance the whole thing so normally in a small town like that you could have one or two stalls you know that is it you know not everybody can do satay business because a lot of preparation you have to uh, uh marinate the, the meats you know overnight you know with all these um the herbs and also the way of the malay style of uh, satay right so satay, uh, in fact, uh, originally came from uh, China, you know, as such that uh, you may know or you may not know because uh, from, from Hokkien or from Fujian, um, you know, in, uh, they call satay. Satay means uh, three pieces, right? Three pieces. So uh, in, in Fujian or in Hokkien, they have such a, a barbecue meats also called in in Hokkien called satay. Satay means three pieces, two thin meats, and in between they go with uh, a fat mix, the fats in between, they go for bangang, eh? they go for barbecue. So the whole thing that, hmm, okay, it could be the influence of those days. I don't know whether it's from uh, 
Laksamana Cheng Ho brought it in or the earlier Chinese that has uh, came to, to Tana Melayu, they have brought in, all right, okay. So I'm not a historian, but uh, just to bring up, you know, for everybody's discussion. And that uh, is fine, you know, it's fine. It's not that it belongs to who, you know, but it's fantastic. We will say that, okay, Malaysia Sate, great, you know, and also Singapore Sate in the Lao Pasat, you know, the, at night they have the whole thing. The street was uh, closed for the satay enjoyment and of course in Malaysia we have a Kajang uh, Samui satay and all this fantastic eh? fantastic I remember those days in 1980s uh, you know when I, I was uh, I studied in KL you know about to study in KL in Park College that uh, I was on my motorbike I, I realized that uh, they, they, they have been the satay ria you know, in Bukit Bintang Plaza okay so even before that, my dad brought me, you know, my, my, my dad is a food lover. Whenever he uh, traveled with his Volvo, a new brand new Volvo then, uh, in back in 1980s, uh, you know, he has been driven for three hours to reach in KL because without highway, my dad um, drove all the way from, from Jasim, go through all the Kampong roads, then we, we come to Saraman, then they will cut through uh, to KL. Even, even that, you know, uh, we have a short path of the highway from Saruman to KL. So we chip in then the whole thing, we need about eight, uh, three hours to come to KL. Sometimes we have a day trip in the morning and uh, at night, and then we just rush back, you know, with three hours back to Jasin. But uh, throughout the, the, the trip and journey that uh, we enjoy our food, uh, one of it is a Satiria in, in, in Sungai Wang, next to it. Uh, Bukit Bintang Plaza is next to Sungai Wang. So when I came to KL myself, then I know where to find foods. Then I go to Satiria again. You know, at that time, and I enjoy it, it's good. But but the thing is, I feel at that time I start to feel that mm, nice, a big bigger stick, you know, bigger portion compared to our kampung one. Uh, the kwa is is little bit, you know, it's not like the whole big bowl of uh, kwa. Then little bit we dip in. Even in front of my my house, that one also they they claim that they they. The recipe, the way they serve, uh, just like the kajang satay, you know. Okay, come back to about this satay area, you know. Of course, this brand no longer there. That, uh, yeah, I enjoy it, but somehow or rather, even that at that time, I was young, that I feel that mm, a bit oily. And then, not only the, the, the food itself, the meat is oily, but the table was oily, the whole restaurant was oily, you know. I said, would it be, you know, the satay, satay business, um, it, it, it is our limitation, you know, because uh, the whole shop is like very oily. Okay, so we always uh, are warned by our parents that, okay, it's good to have satay, but you can't you have it uh, too frequently because you will affect your throat, you know, sakit teka and all this. Uh, um, okay, so after we have satay, we have to... Oh, we have to pour with a lot of water, it's just that we eat durian that is very heaty, oily, and maybe the next day, the next half a day, then you will develop some sore throat. You know? It's a typical kind of uh, precaution that always you want to take, right? It's fun, it's fun, okay? And uh, so we still enjoy sati from time to time. But the thing is, um, there was many years ago, and uh, I think maybe 10, uh, maybe more than that, 15 years ago, that uh, I went to Seoul, Korea, you know, and uh, so that was my first trip to 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 South Korea, and uh, of course, um, South Korea or Korean are famous for Korean barbecue, Korean barbecue. Of course, I have a good friend or my one of my best friend uh, in the varsity time in Australia that by the name of uh, Sung Yong Suk, you know, the Mac, you know. Yeah, I will mention the name because we still in contact today, and um, at that time. Uh, I just just uh, went over, you know, just partly for my business trip, and mostly more for leisure. I was not fancy for Korean BBQ, you know, barbecue or BBQ. I say first thing BBQ comes to my mind just like something wow, it's very heaty, oily. If I want to have BBQ, might as well I have my Malaysian way kind of satay rather than have uh, uh, other people BBQ. You know, even in Australia. People like BBQ, okay, it's fine, you know, the BBQ, the barbecue, the meat, the chicken, sausages, even the marshmallow. Oh, okay, marshmallow can be barbecue. That, that was my finding when I was studying in Australia. That was fun, that was fun. So in Australia, if anything, you know, come with a barbecue means that the family treat you as an a, a important guest, you know, because 
uh, to prepare the barbecue is not like you buy from the shop is you have to prepare yourself you know prepare the meats buy the meats buy the meats prepare the meats marinate overnight and just start to serve you know in their gardens everybody just enjoy doing barbecue so come back about this uh, 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 South Korean barbecue so my friend brought me to the barbecue you know and I said okay okay that's fine so I remember Mac brought me to the restaurant that you know was uh, uh, one of the greatest um, uh, BBQ restaurant uh, basically was owned by one of the female world uh, golfer you know the champion I, I couldn't remember the name uh, but uh, basically it's owned by her and uh, okay the restaurant was great okay so the moment I go in there okay fine you know my, my good friend tried to show me their Korean BBQ so the moment I sit down and look at that wow okay it's different from our satay Malaysia satay kind of BBQ of course we know that you know always serve in a restaurant then the thing is when we sit down you know everything was so proper so clean so dry you know, even smell the BBQ uh, 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 smell, all right? You, you, you don't, you don't feel it. Of course, a little bit, but okay, it's a restaurant, clean, tiny, dry, and very airy, right? Everything, the 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 the, the, the air is so so nice, and of course, up there they have a exhaust. Um, uh, is it called exhaust? It's a it's a suction hose that you know you suck the the barbecue uh, kind of uh, when you do the barbecue the smoke will come out then you suck it suck it off you know so I say okay all right some kind of uh, um, uh, equipments that prepare for such a Korean BBQ but the thing is I was so impressed when the meat come the meat came that uh, at first I'm not so impressed but after that when they start the barbecue I started to get my impression running up right wow okay First, they do not put oil, you know, they put oil. Maybe put a little bit of butter on the on the barbecue, uh, what you call uh, the surface there. Then it's trying to burn off the meat oil by itself, you know. So the oil burn off, go down. They don't, they don't put extra oil. Not like satay. Sure, you know, you go, go through. It, you go with the many oil, cha -cha 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 -cha, you know, many oil, water, cha -cha -cha -cha, wow, and all the smoke come out. And so they just cook it, uh, not, they don't, they don't, do not overcook it. So the, even though the meat is cooked, but it's juicy inside, but you don't see any burnt meat. Even that little, they do not have it, right? So then they start to serve, they say, wow, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, whether it's what kind of, uh, what kind of meats uh, there. Then, um, oh, this is a kind of uh, Korean barbecue that I've experienced. Then there, my, I have a very good impression about this uh, BBQ. And then the, the pans that to, to, to do the barbecue, after one time, they change. They change. Even a little burn mark there, they just take it away. Or even without any burn mark there, they took it away. And then they exchange with the new pans. Okay, the new pans, that's why they do not stick with any burnt meat or overcooked meat that will develop some kind of uh, uh, over the, 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 the burnt meat that uh, just like charcoal, you know. Uh, charcoal is like the burnt wood, you know, is good for the fuel of the barbecue. But if the, the, the meat is overcooked, it becomes charcoal also. And it could be the fuel for another fire, right? So throughout the whole week when I was in Seoul, that almost every single meal that you would have a kind of um, uh, barbecue meat, mm -hmm. whether you are served in your food dish, in your combination dish, somehow you have a barbecue meat inside. So I have it every day. I don't feel it like, you know, we develop any sore throat at all. So I don't. Oh. Basically, the, the, the sore throat developed by the burn meat, by the overcooked kind of uh, methods that, you know, always develop our, our, our sore throat. Since then, I know that, you know, it can be developed, it can be improved for any barbecue meat. And also in the suction hose that, you know, the moment uh, the, the smoke come out, you just suck it off and then they just uh, 
ventilated out from the out from the shop or even from the kitchens and the next moment you don't have your you know your attires your your shirts or your clothing you know full of smell you just try if you go to satay in malaysia after you enjoy your food the moment you go back to your house you have to change your clothes because if all the molecule you know the the smoke stuck in between the the holes of the our coat so that is a different you know that is a different that's why since then i say hey our satay malaysia you can do it better right so then a few years later then i was in uh, london okay i was in london and again you know of course we enjoy the local food uh, the western food so come to the day that the third day fourth day you know my my friend said hey better we go to malaysian restaurant in london to try our nasi lama bag and our satay and whatever otak otak because we miss our malaysian food after traveling for a week okay we went in there one of the best uh, malaysian restaurant in london so wow we are looking for in fact the food was good fantastic you know they have the authentic uh, uh, a taste from malaysia that uh, we appreciate so came again the satay wow okay first thing because from my uh, years of uh, changing mindset about bbq it could be very fine dining it could be uh, uh, well managed you know without any burnt meat and uh, even uh, the smoke of course, uh, the Chinese, uh, the Malaysian restaurant in London is served in a portion is already barbecued in the kitchen. It burned out. Looks good. Looks a bit more like uh, okay, like kajang way of a uh, 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 big portion. But each one we have about two, three. Maybe we have three. You know, I think it's enough. But the thing is, when I have it, the taste is good. But the problem is, they have the burnt meat. Thing. Somehow, rather would such a fine dining restaurant in London. With the influence of Western management, they still have an overcooked, you know, uh, hangus, hangus uh, kind of meat there. I say it shouldn't be. To us, we are okay, you know, we, we are okay, okay, because we are born to be like that. That is a nice plate, nice part, you know. But to outsiders, they think that this is not healthy, right? Because this is a burn. You look at the way um, the West, Westerners, even the Korean, even the Japanese, they have their own barbecue. Uh, yakitori and all this you know they, 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 are, they are not even going for a, even a little bit of uh, uh, overcook even you look at their mackerel their uh, their, 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 their fried fish in uh, japanese restaurant that they are not overcooked of course we may complain hey our food is nice that's why you know why don't we have some healthy food and yet it's nice tasty and yet is healthy so that everybody can have it, you know, just a Japanese uh, barbecue, uh, these, um, their yakitori, you know, even their tempura, the Korean BBQ, they can penetrate all over in the world, you know. So with such a hygiene, with such a healthy approach, with such a, a clean air, you know, without oily. That's why um, when I look back, when I study about our Malaysia satay, I wish that, you know, our satay, our national product can be a world-class players, you know. Hope that I go to every country, we have our Malaysia Sunday all over the places. Even in four or five star hotels that, that they will serve, but we hardly see our Malaysian Sunday, you know, uh, all over the place in, in, in the world. So come back about this, uh, uh, you know, see how you want to do it. That's why when I study back about Sateria, Sateria was, uh, uh, was uh, I think was uh, very much encouraged by the then Prime Minister Tun Mahade and you know, always he has a visionary for for uh, world class player but Satiria in uh, in uh, KL they have done a few years then they have to close down simply because it just just can't come maintain it you know I don't know why is the real reason but as a consumer as a customer that I paid for my food that uh, in order for us to really go out to become the world-class player but not talking about the taste but at least you're talking about the uh, you know it's a, not a burnt meat and also a clean nice restaurant well managed you know with all these uh, management system put in place then we become the world-class player so with this video that I you know want to share out all these uh, 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 mouth-watering uh, food uh, of our, our very proud uh, food in Malaysia but I hope that we can become the what do you call this a uh, world-class player that uh, really we have to look into it I hope that you know some of the FME conglomerate of Malaysia uh, even for outsiders that uh, they should work with the Malaysian 
you know, to, to, to keep our nice uh, recipe and also uh, maintain you know, our presence in the world that I wish I'm looking uh, forward to. And don't feel, feel small, don't feel bad about my commentary on this uh, satay, you know. Uh, I hope that we can um, uh, change a bit of our mindset, our approach, so that, uh, you know, we can uh, uh, promote our, our fantastic uh, food to, to the world. Of course, we have roti chanai, you know, we have our nasi lama, you know, we can all together bring it all over the place uh, in the world so that I can show it. Otherwise, um, uh, that is, that is uh, you know, always become a jago kampung and our home ground. So let us be the world-class player. All right. So that is it for, for this time and see you uh, in the next video then. Thank you. Bye-bye.